Hello, I'm William Boyd and this is a um, demonstration of a soot uh, connector from Fuse IT. The soot connector is a connector for site core to HP trim and vice versa in both directions. And uh, during this presentation I'll just uh, go through the um, default package that we have um, and some of the demonstration controls that are installed with the uh, package. The connector itself is installed into Cycle the normal way a package is installed and we've uh, provided some um, demo user controls that you could just add um, to your site to get up and running. Uh, you could use these controls in your production environment if they actually met your uh, requirements, um, but they're basically there for um, to give you an idea of how to use the connector. So, these are the controls here, and I've got them installed in the uh, site core front end. So we'll go through a list of these controls. Now, first of all, the, the way we connect from site core to HP Trim uh, is by um, authentication. We have um, single server sign-on authentication um, enabled with uh, the ability to use your Windows Active Directory credentials. Um, at the moment I'm actually authenticated against um, Sitecore as an authenticated user with the AD module. Um, so if I go to this demo here, my credentials are there passed through uh, seamlessly to uh, Trim um, with Kerberos and you can see that I'm an authenticated user. Um, I've got a username and my Active Directory credentials are passed through and I'm authenticated. We've also got other ways of authenticating. Um, we can also authenticate with a user, um, as in a username and password, and uh, we can go in and uh, let's say if you're an authenticated site core user, um, but you do not have SSO enabled, you can have a simple uh, username or password box like this and enter your username and password and they could be stored against your user profile so every time you return this authenticated user um, these credentials can be encrypted or are encrypted stored in the password uh, profile. If you are a um, if you have anonymous access, you could just simply use the, the same sort of control, username and password, um, and then just not simply store the uh, credentials in the session um, so that they need to log in each time. Um, the, the fourth and last possibility is that you have a, a generic HP user, maybe that's someone, a user that has only read access to certain containers in HP Trim. Um, and then you can put that into your web config and have it global so that anyone coming to the site will be able to read certain uh, or pull certain information out of Trim uh, and have it shared across the um, internet. So what we can do is uh, with these demos, um, we just simply do a record search. So right now I am just going to enter a search in here. And my uh, credential has been sent off seamlessly across to HP Trim. It's been connected. I've come back with a, a page list of uh, documents out of Trim. Um, I'm only able to you to see the documents that um, the credentials I've entered are able to see. I can uh, click on a on a document and get a little bit more information about the document. Um, I can actually download the document easily from. Um, HP Trim itself, uh, or if you wanted to, I could even delete if I've got the access rights to do that. You can have a uh, search for containers, and you can extend all these demos. You can extend um, any way functionality you want if you want the uh, date periods um, and so forth, Boolean searches. Um, so I can do a container search, uh, found a container. Let's have a look what's in the container. So here's those informations uh, of files in the container. And once again, I can view the, the details, the metadata, and even download that uh, file from HP Trim itself. 
we have uh, you're able to set up in this demo here. We're able to set up a view into a container, so it's a preset. Um, maybe on the page level or in the, in the config summary, you want to set up a, a view. Um, and then we're looking right now at all the files within our container and trim. Um, and so it means that people can come in here and if new files are added uh, by someone else, either through the connector from Cycle or added uh, by another program or in trim itself, then they'll appear uh, in this list. And once again, using the uh, user's credentials to actually access that uh, container. If they don't have access to the container, they won't be able to see it. Um, some of the searches, uh, this one here is I'm using um, my Active Directory credentials with Kubros going straight through. And once again, I'm going to see the files that I'm allowed to see and download those files if I want to. The uh, Another control we have is the ability to um, take PDF snapshots of, of forms. And this is here as a normal um, sp.net form. And I'll just call the, uh, the file name delete me. Fill out the form. Maybe selection here. Test. Now, um, this is going to submit, and in the back end, as well as the normal submit action, I've got the ability to convert that uh, form into a PDF. It's going to save all the user's um, inputs uh, and then store it in a pre predefined container um, within Trim itself. I can download the form from this demo, or we can actually go and uh, have a look at this file itself. So there's a file I just uh, submitted. Details of it. Let's have a look at it. And there's the form itself that I just submitted. So you can take snapshots. This also works uh, seamlessly with a um, with the web form, web form for marketers. Same thing. You can uh, just add the event with uh, through the web form. Um, GUI in the back end, uh, as well as the other events of saving the database or emailing out. And part of the action would be simply to create that form into a PDF and then store it in a predefined area. We have the uh, also the ability to actually upload directly from Sitecore, uh, from the web browser, the user's uh, browser straight into from itself. So with this ability here, uh, I can just select the file and basically go in and submit it. This means that the form will actually go straight to Trim and uh, completely bypass um, Sitecore, won't be stored in Sitecore. The um, container search, again, we've seen the container search, record search. So with these controls, they're out of the box and you can extend them. Uh, we've also got the ability to deal with uh, the media files. And within the system, we have uh, some folders set up. And what we've basically told the uh, system to do is if any person or anyone, any admin, adds a file to this, uh, to this folder, we uh, just upload a file. So right now what's happening is the, the file has been uploaded. It's been um, stored into the media library. But you can also see that this file now has been added to Trim itself into a predefined container that we've set within the settings. And we can go to record search and have a search for this file. There's a file I've just uploaded. See the details and download it. 
Uh, we've also got the ability uh, to set up containers, uh, or sorry, set up um, the media library so that it is uh, synchronized with a container inside of a container or containers inside of Trim. And this means that if someone adds a file to the um, container in Trim, uh, I'm uh, using the scheduler in Sitecore to periodically go off and get the uh, get that file, bring it into the media library so it's available for use inside of the media library. So we can add files to the media, media library um, and appear in Trim, or we can add files to Trim and they'll appear in the media library. So that's a brief overview of the um, control and the default um, demo user controls that are available. Thank you for listening.